I'm James. I'm 17. And I'm pretty sure I'm a psychopath. I got some good Netflix streaming time with a new series called The End of the Effing World, which Netflix partnered up with Channel 4 to get to uh, North American shores. I've been told by people on Twitter that I should check this show out, and I'm glad that I did. It's based on a comic series. It's been uh, retrofitted into this eight-episode uh, season one of a new TV show, and season two is already in production. Uh, and it's about these two 17-year-old uh, misfits that uh, come together. Hey. I've seen you skating. Pretty shit. Fuck off. One of them is James, played by Alex Lothar, who is convinced that he uh, has psychopathic tendencies and wants to murder things. And the other is Alyssa, played by Jessica Barden, who uh, is in a very uh, complicated relationship with her mother and her stepfather. And uh, she basically can't tolerate anybody. And in fact, at the beginning of the season, she picks up her smartphone after one of her friends texts her from across the table, looks at the message, and then proceeds to throw her smartphone on the ground and says, I fucking hate those things. And that gives you an idea of the kinds of individuals that we're dealing with here. Have you ever eaten a pussy before? Mm. Uh, they decide that uh, they've had it with the the sort of the world that they're living in and the people that they're dealing with, and they steal James's dad's car and hit the road, and then all kinds of calamities ensue. I might be able to fix it. We can't just leave it here. Do you reckon you can still fix it? There's a lot of uh, emo stuff, a lot of, uh, you know, scenes where both characters are devoid of uh, any emotion whatsoever, but uh, both actors are so damn good, you can't help but kind of look at, at their relationships through the cracks and the corners, and you start to really care about them. You fall in love with them, just as those two kind of start to fall in love with each other, and they have this very complicated relationship. It does get a little bit violent, because uh, as we've mentioned, James has some violent tendencies, and uh, there are some crazy characters that they meet along the way. One of them, um, this is a little bit of a spoiler, is Alyssa's father, uh, but um, they are such complicated and interesting characters that you can't help but feel for them and kind of root for them even though they do some pretty terrible things and uh, eventually uh, the police are involved. And I don't want to really spoil anything more. Do you want to lift? Come on. I am going to be so fucked off if we get murdered. It's only eight episodes and they're each about 30 minutes long. Some of them are even shorter than that. So it's very easy to watch these things in an evening. It's almost like a, you know, an episodic movie when you collapse them all down. It doesn't take that much time and you're going to plow right through them. I suggest you do. The End of the Effin' World is another terrific pickup by Netflix. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10.